when I was young, I became obsessed with marine life after being brainwashed by a pod of dolphins in the womb. I've observed that at their core, many nature documentaries are human-centric. This story is not about me. The stars of the show are the sharks, nature's artwork, and I'm only here as their voice. Local grey nurse and wobbegong sharks are apex predators, performing a crucial role in ecosystems. They control the movement and health of their prey, ensuring that areas are not depleted of resources. They also affect the amount of carbon in the atmosphere. Seagrass meadows are patrolled by sharks, whose presence prevents overgrazing from herbivorous fish and turtles. This seagrass captures carbon from the atmosphere 35 times faster than a tropical rainforest, creating a carbon sink. Port Jacksons have the ability to learn from others, as well as having surprisingly long memories. Some sharks are highly inquisitive. Shark friendships have been observed in wild Port Jacksons and Wobbyongs. They will seek out specific individuals on occasion using teamwork to catch prey. Sharks are highly intelligent beings, each with their own individual personality and hard-won wisdom. we often dismiss our effect on other creatures. This film shows a shoal of placid grey nurse sharks being bullied out of the gutter by a herd of scuba divers. Grey nurse sharks are critically endangered with these divers breaking many rules, leaving them open to hefty fines and even imprisonment. Entitlement harms sharks in brutal ways, with Australian governments continuing the longest shark control program in the world, using drumlines and nets, both of which result in a slow, painful death via suffocation. This same sense of entitlement has been experienced by many First Nation communities. Shark numbers are dwindling, with 92% of populations obliterated in only 50 years. This is a violation of our ethics, as creatures with canine levels of intelligence are seen as serial killers. demonises what we don't understand. Humanity must learn to live alongside these apex predators, to protect, respect and revere these monarchs of the deep, to preserve any hope of the ocean remaining a utopia of life. The existence of sharks affects every single one of us, and we must accept this, as well as the sickening moral and ethical truths behind the global extermination of these beings.
Only then can we open our minds and feel empathy for these ancient artworks of evolution.